English football, in my opinion, is probably the best football out there at the yeah. moment. I've had times when I've had to lock myself in the changing room. My feelings are it was given to Qatar through bribery and corruption. My son's really crazy on Manchester United. He's a die-hard fan. Yeah, yeah. The Brighton fans peed on the Crystal Palace fans off an un over overpass. Had Crystal Palace shit in the uh, Brighton changing rooms. <laughs> oh that's my god, we come from. That's true, it's where the rivalry is. That's where it emanates from. Hiya, welcome to Easy English. So this week I thought we could talk about all things football. I want to know what teams people supported, if they're watching the Euros, if they'll be watching the controversial Qatar World Cup, and what football means to them. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Easy English. Here we go. Yeah, what football team do you support? I support Brighton Hove Albion, which is my hometown. Who do you support? Which football team? Manchester United. Well, obviously I am City, but then I am Brighton. Do you support a team? Um, yeah, Liverpool, basically. I support Manchester United. I grew up in South London, so my dad dragged us along to Crystal Palace. Brighton and Hove Albion. Oh, really? I'm, I'm born and Brighton bred. Well, depends on which country we're talking about, but now we're in England, I think <laughs> Manchester, that's my favourite team. Manchester, Manchester Uni United, 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 of course. United, okay. Yeah, I, I thought that was obvious, but no, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and how long have you supported them? I supported them for about, I'm 73. I was about seven or eight when I first went there. So we're talking about 65 oh, really? years. Yeah. How long yeah. have you supported them for? Since 1972, I think it was. Oh, since uh, my dad took me to my first game when I was about sort of uh, 12, 13. How long have you supported Manchester United? Since I was a very young kid. And are you from Manchester? I am not, I am from the US. Okay, and so then why Manchester United? Why not? Where, whereabouts in the US are you from? I'm from Connecticut. Who, who is your like relevant football team? Relevant? Like in what way? <laughs> <in what, laughs> <laughs> uh, relevant will be like, it's still Manchester United anywhere else. Yeah, but like, who's your respective football team in Connecticut? We don't have any like. There's no like football team there. Not even American. Not even American football. Not even American football. Not even fo really? It's what a small do, town. What do they do in Connecticut? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> nothing. Just we just chill around. And so then, can I ask why? Why Manchester United? Uh, I, actually, I don't know. It's always <laughs> it's always just been Manchester United. I from from the time. Um, uh, yeah, you, I, since I was just a small kid, I, I just loved them. Are you watching the Euros at the moment? Oh, I've watched some of the Euros, yeah. And um, I should what, probably what's watch... What's your opinion of the England team in the Euros? Uh, well, it was a great result against Norway the other night. Absolutely. Uh, obviously, they've got Northern Ireland next, which won't be too much of a, a challenge, I don't think. But yeah. uh, it will get tougher after that. To and the... what's your prediction, as in for the whole tournament with oh, I'd like to see England play France in the final, I think. And? And, and we win 5-0, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I tried to get tickets the other night for the England match. Oh, so did yeah. I, yeah. And what are your predictions for the women's team? How far are they going to get? Oh. Well, after a 7-0 thrashing of Norway. I know, but everybody puts well. England under pressure that way. As soon as they win, everyone going, they're going to go all the way. They, <laughs> it, that's yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. There's isn't a massive it? disappointment. And then there's the a huge it. disappointment. So but I feel that's I'm trying of... not to go down there. Okay, yeah. But I feel that's kind of part and parcel of being an English football supporter. What, eternal disappointment? Yeah. Bu building everything up and then being let down right at the end kind of thing. Yeah. Well, and that's like what they're going to do with the women's as Link's well. England. Smells of cigarettes and disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> Will you be watching the Qatar World Cup? Um, and what are your feelings kind of towards the Qatar World Cup? Because it's a bit controversial, no? My feelings are it was given to Qatar through bribery and corruption. Um, I don't think that um, it should have been held there, not yeah. with their record. And um, I f feel a bit ashamed of our own FA. They didn't speak up at the um, sort of unveiling ceremony and yeah. the Scandinavian countries were the only ones that did. Is that right? Yeah, or it felt like it. Okay, and then, yeah, controversial question. Will, after that, will you still be watching it anyway? Um, probably not as much as I would have usually, Yeah. but the trouble is you tend to watch the game wherever it is held. Well, I will watch it because, you know, my England's playing. I, I'm supporting England this year. But you, we're in the same group as USA? 
I don't really support USA. I've never supported US even in 2014. I didn't support USA. Really? Yeah. What is it about this kind of loyalty thing in football? Actually, I don't understand why why people are not glued. I mean, if you have a, a, a club, then I, I don't think you, why. How can you just change? I mean, it's for me also. It's a kind of in your yeah, in your heart. Uh, well, you, you 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 can't change your wife either. <laughs> yeah, of course, you can, but I don't think it's a good idea. And I Wasn't don't that a famous that. saying by <laughs> who said? Someone said that. Like, did Eric Cantona say that or something? Or some uh, famous footballer know. said, "You can change your wife, but you can never change yeah, your football uh, team." Yeah, that's, that's that's who I. I don't know if it was Cantona. Maybe it was, but I I I remember that someone said that. Yeah. Do you know what a diehard fan is? or why disappointment is part and parcel of English football. My son's really crazy on Manchester United. You're a die-hard fan, isn't Yeah, it? yeah. But I feel that's kind of part and parcel of being an English football supporter. You would if you became a member of Easy English by clicking the link up here. For just five euros a month, you can get learning extras for all of our episodes, including a worksheet. This worksheet helps you define such phrases and figure out how to use it in context. So if you're an English learner or just want to support Easy English's work, then become a member now. What is it about, not necessarily just Brighton, what is it that, what does football give, give to you? What's well, so special? I've always loved football. Um, growing up, I played at uh, the youth level because when at school we couldn't play. But when we got to about 12, 13, 14, we could join a youth team. Yeah. And I went and played for the local Wooding Dean oh, as right. a team. And then... Um, um, I went refereeing. I went refereeing for about 40 years. Really? Doing all round Sussex and all that, refereeing local teams and um, going. I even done an FA Cup game. So I sort of worked my way up doing that. And, Brave man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, by doing that, I met a lot of people, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, through, yeah. through all different people, through different life, you know. And it was quite, you know, travelling and meeting people. It was lovely, you know. But, uh, did you get much stick? A lot of stick, yeah, but then you've got to have a, you know, grin and bear it and this sort of, you know, yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've had I've, I've had times when I've had to lock myself in the changing room and wait for the <laughs> really? team to, yeah, well, because I've made, you know, I've sent a player off or I've made a you know, decision they didn't think was no. right. So, yeah, I've had that, yeah. Why do you think um, England uh, is, like, notoriously so... In love with football as opposed to other nations. Um, oh, Christ, it's all about the working class and bread and circuses, isn't it, really? Yeah, uh, uh, it started off as a poor man's game. Right. And you, you know, a lot of the football clubs are related to work. You know, right, Millwall yeah, Millwall was dockers, West Ham dockers, either side of the river, fierce rival between the two teams. All the locals go and support them because there's not a lot else to do. And they sort of turn and see, it all began in 1898 or whatever. <laughs> it's all to do with the Industrial <laughs> Revolution. Yeah. yeah or, or the development of modern society. I love your answers. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's historical real football. Yeah, you know, Liverpool, <laughs> Celtic, Rangers, Catholic, Protestant, two sides of the city absolutely hate each other. What does football then mean to you? Is, is there some sort of spiritual meaning or is there like a, it's almost like a romance because you went there with your dad? Um, no, it's just, I just enjoy the game really. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I, I just sort of, when I grew up at school in, well, when I went to school in Brighton, most yeah. pe it was the 80s, so most people supported Liverpool and not Brighton. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I just support my local team. And do you play football? Um, no, used to, not very seriously. <laughs> um, like, uh, you know, jumpers for goalposts in the park, uh, that nice. sort of thing. Um, but no, I, I was never very good. What does support in Manchester United, or what does just football in general mean to you? It's a sport where anyone can play. No, it's not like it's not like you can't play. We all can play. It's not like American football where you have to put a pad on, have to be built strong okay. to display. Yeah, I thought you meant like it's, there's no sort of exclusivity in the same way that like yeah, like cricket Ameri or rugby. Yeah, has like American, same as American football. You got to be strong. You got to be like fast. Soccer, okay. anyone can play. You can just kick a ball and then you're. You don't you're have to go playing. to like a special school no, or anything to. to do it. Yeah. No, you don't have to. What does football then mean to you then? Um, what kind of part does it play in your life? Well, it, it, it does not play a huge part anymore <laughs> of my okay. life. But uh, in, in my childhood and when I was... Uh, well, I, I've played football myself uh, pretty much until I yeah, had family and then it kind of died out 
my own activity for it, but but now I just follow it as much as I can in TV. And but it's not it's not like I'm a huge fan that that goes to the stadium every weekend at all. But yeah. but I I like football. My son plays football. My my daughter plays football, and I'm a coach myself in the local oh, really? club. Yeah. So so yeah. I do think it's the uh, it's the best sport that young people can can do because you have physical activity and you have social stuff and it's just you have coordination everything is there so and it's not very exclusive then if you the think all the things you're saying shows me that football is maybe the one of the most open armed kind of sports you know it's not like yeah. rugby or cricket or something it's no 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 it, it is football and I, I actually don't like rugby and cricket i don't i don't i mean i don't i don't think that's well i just think football is it's a bit, the, the sport. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let us know in the comments below the football team you love the most, why you love football, and if you'll be watching the Euros and the World Cup in Qatar. See you next week. Ta-ra!